welcome to the press conference of SETI on 2016 here in Berlin at the IFA. My name is Janine Miner and it's an honor for me to guide you through this exciting program today. And in the name of SETI, we are all saying thank you that you are joining our show. I can promise you that you will experience right here, right now, the new excellence of smartphone technology. And today, you and me, we all will witness the next chapter of SETI's success story in a European but also on a global level. And who could better lead us to the next chapter of smartphone technology than Mr. Adam Sang in person. So ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome him with a huge applause, the CEO of SETI e Mobile Devices, Adam Sang. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. It's great to be here again at IFA. And you know, I still remember last year we showcased our first generation Exxon Fresher and won the best user experience award here at IFA 2015. And today, I'm excited to share with you about the progress we have made so far. First, I want to talk about Exxon, the Exxon sale. Our latest flagship launched a few months ago. We have achieved more than 97% positive user rating in China. The initial inventory has been sold out in the US and Europe. So we are working hard to fulfill many orders. We also receive so many positive feedbacks, not only from the consumers, but also from technology media outlets, and many of you are sitting here today. Thank you for your support. Secondly, I want to talk briefly about our overall performance and share some news with you. Based on Counterpoint research report, for the second quarter of 2016, we have become the number six biggest player in this industry. In the US, we have been consistently held the number four position, and number three for Android, and number two for Prepaid. In Europe, we have recently risen to the number four position. I'm so proud of these results. Of course, we still have a long way to go to become top three vendors in major countries. I want to sincerely thank you for all, all for joining us today. I think we couldn't do anything without your support. So let us continue together on the journey of ZTE, all what we call zero to excellence. This phrase, zero to excellence, is very appropriate in summarizing our achievement as a company and also will continue to be our brand vision into the future. Zero to excellence. Today, we will continue the momentum of excellence saving and add more exciting products to you. Let's invite my colleague, Raymond, come to the stage. Thank you. Good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wayman Lamb. I'm the Vice President for CT Mobile Devices. 
I'm very happy and honored to stand in front of you today and give you more stories about the ZTE successful store, what we call zero to excellence. But let's talk about the s 7 because as Adam has mentioned, the story will continue, has to continue. So let's talk about the Exxon 7. We have launched Exxon 7 back in May 26 in China and subsequently have different launches throughout in Paris and in Hong Kong and then we have launches, uh, pre-orders starting in the US. So far the reception has been phenomenal. And we are also very honored to have Long Long, the world-renowned pianist, to become our Exxon series brand ambassador. So as most of you know, Lan Lan is a very, very talented piano player. For him to endorse this product, it tells you a lot about the audio and music capability of this device. So, since many of you are here today, I want to quote some of the reviews that you have written for the Axon 7. From Android Authority, even the eight dollar earbuds can notice the difference. Digital trend. This device costs nearly twice as much. It feels like it's cost, it costs nearly twice as much, but it's not. And then for PC Magazine, it's a device that uh, no other phone on this, plan, uh, on this market can, can offer. And then the lastly, in gadget. So you can actually hear this device from another room. So it tells you we have done an excellent job, probably the most powerful smartphone on the planet when it comes to audio and sound quality. And for that, I thank you for giving such a great review for our Exxon 7. But more importantly, what about the consumer? What have they been saying about the Exxon 7? So here are some of the quotes that I got uh, just uh, uh, randomly from, uh, from some of the users' uh, uh, reviews from, from online that, uh, that I've gathered. So Douglas said, it feels like you get a lot more than what you pay for. Justin mentioned this is a great media consuming device with the Adobe Atmos and the dual built-in speakers. And last but not least, Brent, he mentioned, I have never had a device in itself and with the headphone. So I think we have done a lot of things right with the Axon device when it comes to audio. And I'm proud to stand right here to talk about our next chapter in Axon 7. But before we do that, Obviously, we as ZTE believe that there's no one size fits all for smartphones. And um, in particular, if you look at the millennials, if you look at this interesting data, a very interesting data that we have gathered in some recent surveys, look at the left, my right hand, uh, two seven, 18 to 29, 30 to 49, they spent almost half, half of them are saying that they couldn't live without their smartphone. Another interesting data. So also targeting the millennial. The millennial are spending the most time with smartphones, more than anything else. So that could be a good thing or a bad thing, but smartphone has changed the way we live. And uh, the data is showing that the millennial especially are using smartphone more than the time they're spending with friends and family. And this is also a very interesting data. So the features that they use that has the greatest year-over-year -year increase for the past three years. If you look at some of these features from watching TV, look, uh, look using that as a portable TV uh, device, uh, watching some online videos, video phone call, listening to music, everything has to do with sound. So I think the industry is telling us that we have developed a very, very cool device, a right device to take advantage and address the market needs. So with that, I want to introduce the Exxon 7 Mini. So if you look at this device, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous looking device. We have inherited the DNA of the Exxon 7 and just making it a little bit smaller, 5.2 inch to be exact. If you look at the configurations or the, 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 uh, the detailed layouts, 
you can see it's very similar. And we do that, we did that deliberately because we want to be able to offer our flagship device, this design language, across different, different models. So Exxon 7 Mini has the DNA of the design language from the Exxon 7. And on top of that, it's got a beautiful 5.2 inch full HD AMOLED display, and it's got the latest technologies like USB-C connections. But more importantly, we have also included the most important feature of the Exxon 7, which is the audio that we talk so much about. So it's smaller in size, but it still has a great sonic DNA. And how do we do that? We call this Pure Sound 1.0. So this concept, it's actually been uh, put together by ZT and many, many different professional uh, companies and even t with Golden Ears Conservatory Music got involved. So it's a combination of hardware selections for, this, for the device, whether it's hi-fi hi chipsets, speakers, amplifiers, audio material that we selected for the, uh, for, for the speaker grill and the inside of the box of the, the speaker has a lot to do with the hardware selection. But not only hardware, but also software selection. So software optimizations through uh, Hi-Fi software, amplification software, and Dolby, which I will talk more about later. And then professional tuning. It's not just throwing hardware and software together. It has to be able to tune to the right frequency, whether it's low frequency, middle frequency, or high frequency. So we actually combine all of that in perfection, in delivering the Axon 7, and now the Axon 7 Mini. So first of all, it's got a powerful, powerful dual front-facing speakers, and it's actually symmetrical as well. So if you look at this device, it's a beautiful device. It's got grills on the top, grills on the bottom, two speakers that's facing you. So it's very important with these two speakers uh, positioned in this way, because when you're watching or consuming video, the sound wave is coming directly at you versus if you put it somewhere else, you will have a different experience. Let's talk about hi-fi chipset. So we have a dedicated hi-fi chipset and we work with a company called AKM to put the latest hi-fi chipset, 4962, into this product. So it's got a heavier bass, deeper, deeper treble, and a pure median compared to the predecessor, which is 4961 and it's offering the ability to, to support 384 kilohertz, 32 bit ultra high definition music for the consumers. And also it has Smart PA. What, what is Smart PA? So Smart PA is basically another chipset that we have inside of home to regulate the audio output coming out of the device. So in other words, uh, let's say the consumer want to turn up the volume to the loudest. Smart PA will adjust and optimize the output of the audio to make sure that the sound doesn't sound distorted. So another very, very useful and important technology in delivering quality audio. And I talk a lot about the amount of time we spend on material selection, audio experimentation, golden ears calibrations, and the tuning that we have done countless hours, you know, whether it's ZTR, our audio engineering team, Dolby, or AKM, all together in a package, we call it Pure Sound 1.0. And of course, Dolby. So Dolby is the leader in digital sound, and it's moving from traditional uh, home entertainment system into the mobile space. And we are extremely honored to have Dolby Atmos to deliver, allow the consumer to have a 3D sound experience in the palm of their hand. And I'm also very honored today to have a guest that I'm going to invite up in just a moment. He's going to talk to you briefly about this great technology. So with that, I want to invite Stefan to talk about the Dolby Atmos. Stefan? Yes, thanks Raymond. Uh, this is a great piece of technology you showed. Um, and it sounds great and actually sounds greater because it's using Dolby Atmos. So, um, also Dolby would like to welcome you at the uh, ZTE's press conference at IFA. Um, I'm very honored to be here and present you Dolby Atmos. And even more important, to present you also 
what Dolby Atmos does to the Exxon 7 and what are the user experience that comes out of Exxon. So let me give you a quick overview about Dolby Atmos. So what is Dolby Atmos? Well, sometimes people refer to it as a 3D immersive audio system. <clears throat> Dolby Atmos is a, a sound system or a technology that we, we developed you know, after 5171. We decided we do not want to put more speakers in the surrounding area, we want to put some speakers up. And that's why everything is object based. So at the moment, with Dolby Atmos, you take different audio elements and you can put it and move it around not only in the same level, also in the height level. So, for example, a bird in a, in a forest that is now flying around your head, and not only flying around you. So, um, what does this technology actually bring to... Um, to the Exxon 7 users? So, um, it gives you a never heard before audio experience, and, and, and he, he, Neyman already mentioned it. You have two speakers, you have earphones, you have earplugs. Normally, you do not get this immersive feeling. With Dolby Atmos, you get this immersive feeling. So the, 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 the audio puts you into the scene. So you hear the sound around you, and you feel like you're part of it. Imagine when you stand in a, in a, in a forest. There's a lot of sound around it. And if the sound just comes from the front, it doesn't help you. But if the sound comes from all around you, you really feel like you're part of the action. Not only Atmos content, also existing 5.1 stereo one, the stereo content is getting enhanced by using Dolby Atmos. So what does that mean? We all experience in a plane, sometimes you do not really understand the dialogues. So it's already always difficult to listen to dialogues. So with Dolby Atmos, you also enhance existing movies, existing content, to make it more a better experience so that you can concentrate much more on the on the movie or the content itself and you don't have to focus on what's actually being said. So having said this and you get this experience whatever peripherals you're using. So it doesn't matter if you want to use the built-in speaker set or if you want to use the earplugs, um, the ZTEs, R and D team and our R and D team and all the other part partners like AKM. They really did a great job in terms of putting this together and they make it great. So make sure you check it out. You, they have uh, Exxon 7 minis around. Make sure you check it out to get this experience and you hear it. You don't need any additional equipment. It's all in the Exxon 7. Thank you. Thank you. So, thanks, thanks. Thank you, Stefan, for such a, such a good uh, information about the uh, Adobe Atmos. So obviously, uh, we're very honored to be among the first companies to, uh, to partner with uh, Adobe to uh, incorporate Adobe Atmos into the device. We think the Axon 7 Mini, you know, kick butt in terms of the audio quality. But from your perspective, you know, uh, knowing that there are other phones out there, what do you think the Axon 7 Mini performance in terms of the audio quality? I mean, the, the audio quality, what I've heard, is really outstanding. It's breathtaking. I really felt like I'm sitting in a cinema. You know, this is where Dolby actually comes from, from the cinema. So all the experiences you, you have heard so far, most of them are of the, of the, of the, happening in the cinema. And with the Exxon 7, it's such a powerful tool. You're sitting in front of a mobile device and you have the feeling you're sitting in a, in a cinema where you have fixed 56 or even more speakers around you. And this is all coming out of the Exxon 7, which is really a tremendous thing. And I think, as I said before, make sure you check it out because it's an experience you have never had before. Well, with that, thank you very much, Stefan. Thanks again. So we just heard from Dolby talking about Dolby Atmos. Now, I also have another speaker that I'm going to uh, introduce. He's a very talented freelance music editor and journalist, Paul Lester. And he's going to give you his point of view based on his profession about the Axon 7 Mini. With that, Paul? Hello. Good turnout. Right, I'm Paul Lester and I've been a music journalist for over 20 years, uh, working for magazines like Melody Maker, Ask Your Parents, and Uncut. And then about 10 years ago, I went freelance. Since then I've been writing for uh, Guardian, Mojo, 70 Times, Classic Rock. I've also written books on Oasis and Blur and Lady Gaga. So what I'm trying to say is a lot of my work 
involves listening to music and interviewing pop stars and rock stars old and new from the Rolling Stones to the weekend. When I first started out as a music writer, I needed a tape recorder and did all my interviews on a tape recorder. I listened to music on vinyl and CDs. Some of you still are listening to vinyl, beyond me completely. But with the advance of technology, my work life has changed immeasurably. I do virtually everything on a mobile phone. I play music back on it, I stream it obviously, I record interviews and transcribe the interviews, I download music, I research articles, I even make notes and write articles, increasingly so in this online world where publications demand stuff turned around, not just overnight, but can we have it in the next two hours? So a mobile phone is essential. Really though, it needs to be good at playing back music, because I do it for several hours a day. And I spend more time listening to music on the move than I ever do on any hi-fi system. Mainly then, as I say, I do on a mobile phone, often via headphones and car speakers. So as somebody who loves the latest technology, I was delighted to be invited to try out the new Axon 7 Mini. It was incredible, because it never occurred to me before to listen to music coming out of the actual phone. It sounds ridiculous, it sounds bizarre, but it's true. For the first time ever, here was a device where the, the sound was rich enough and powerful enough, and it wasn't necessary to take recourse to my Sennheisers or my Marshalls, apart from when my wife demanded that I turn it down because she was watching the latest soap opera. It sounds, of course, there's also the other. It's not the video has a, uh, a very, very important feature of the smartphone, but it is the sound that brings out the emotion. And for that, we're very honored and very humble that we have this device from ZT, you call the ZT Axon 7 and Axon 7 Mini. Now, let's compare about some specs, right? After all, it's about well, comparison. So what I have here is Axon 7, Samsung S7, HTC 10, and Huawei P9. From the built-in speaker comparison perspective, you could very clearly tell that Axon 7 Mini gets above all of them. Samsung S7 only has a single speaker in the lower right-hand corner. The HTC 10 has dual speakers, but their bottom speaker is actually located over here. It's not front-facing. And then Huawei also, same with Samsung, also only have one single speaker. So the idea is that I want to compare in the marketplace 5.2 inches device Around, around that size, what type of capability when it comes to the speaker quality? Let's compare Hi-Fi. So I mentioned a lot about Hi-Fi sound quality coming out of the earbuds. So let's compare again. ZT Axon 7 Mini has a dedicated Hi-Fi chipset built into the device. So if you look at these other three very, very well-known device, Samsung S7, HTC 10, Huawei P9, none of them has a dedicated hi-fi chipset. And only one of them supports high-res audio. So we believe the Axon 7 and the Axon 7 Mini has truly, truly redefined the flagship audio experience, not only for us, but for the consumers. But smartphone is not just about audio, even though we put a lot of emphasis on the audio. Camera is also very important. So the philosophy behind the Axon 7 Mini and the Axon 7 is to allow consumers to have a very simple interface so they can take great pictures the moment they want to take it. Camera that takes great photo, simplistic point and shoot. I think that's the idea. This is based on extensive research that we have done at ZTE. Out of 100 users, Almost 85, 85 of them said they will never use advanced feature in the camera. They just want to be able to take a good picture the moment they want to take it. So with that, we have put in some sophisticated hardware with this Axon 7 Mini. 16 megapixel in the rear, 1.9 aperture. And the front camera is an 8 megapixel with an f2.2 aperture. But it is the software that's allowing the Axon 7 Mini to be able to detect many different types of scenarios so you as the consumer can just point and shoot and take ex extraordinary pictures. So whether it's day or night, automatic HDR, automatic scenery selections, the software does all the work for you. 
But of course, if you want to tweak the settings, we also have very, very user-friendly settings that you can tweak, where you can separate the meter and the, and, the, uh, uh, and the focus, you can adjust the exposure level, and you can adjust the, uh, 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 the focus and all of that. So let's look at some of the pictures. So this picture was taken in Las Vegas. So obviously, looking at this picture, it is being shot in some manual type of settings. So with manual exposure, uh, manual focus of time, and uh, you can see the quality. I cannot believe this is coming out of a smartphone, looking at this picture. With the second picture, this one is, is taken in Germany, in Dusseldorf, Germany. So it's almost, almost um, uh, dusk, you know, like uh, sunset time. The light is not enough. Um, but with the Axon 7 Mini, we're able to allow the consumer just point and shoot because it has the automatic HDR function. So you don't have to go with the setting and say, I want to do an HDR. The phone actually knows that it needs an HDR because of the lighting condition. So look at the quality of this picture. You just point and shoot. Now this last picture also taken with auto mode. This is in Paris, in France, uh, the Cathedral de Notre Dame. So the look at the clarity, the, the color reproduction. This is in auto mode without HDR. Look at the the the, uh, the details of the cloud and in the background, and more importantly, the signs. So I think these three pictures can tell a lot. Our story for this camera is simplistic point and shoot. We want you to be able to take the picture. Gorgeous, gorgeous pictures, the moment you want to take it. Now let's talk about design. So we collaborated with DesignWorks, which is a company that builds uh, subsidiary BMW groups. So uh, we have incorporated what they call the G3 curvature, continuous curvature, which is actually inspired by race cars. You know, if you could, you know, Google, you know, G3, there's, you know, G0, G1, G2, G3. That G3 part is at the edge of the film. So if you look at the design DNA from design work, you know, together with ZTE, we have created something very, very pretty and very, very sexy, in my opinion. Look at this device with the G3 curve. It's, it's the curvature on, the, on both sides of the phone that's allowing you to have a better grip and a firmer hold. And um, so we are very honored to be able to work with Design Works in coming up with such a such a unique design. And also, it's got a full unibody aluminum uh, body for this smartphone. So we took a lot of the device uh, advice from the from the users. Our first generation, uh, it was also a full uh, metal body, but the top and bottom portion of it was not metal. So we improved that drastically by offering a full metal smartphone unibody. And attention to detail, we also want to be able to give users a, 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 a sense of luxury. If you look at this device, it's got a fingerprint recess in the back that haptically tells you, you know, the, the placement of your finger because of the ridge on two, two, two sides of the fingerprint. Precision chamfer edges, it looks gorgeous and beautiful, wrap around with a 2.5D glass. And the grill, the grill actually, I can tell a, a long story on the grill. How many holes do we actually put into the grill to achieve that sound quality and the look? So attention to detail is extremely important. Well, let's do another comparison. So Axon 7 Mini, Samsung S7, HTC 10, Huawei P9. So if you look at, from this point of view, you can see our curve is very, very unique. It's because of that G3 curvature. And the thickest point of this device is only 7.8 millimeter. It's at the middle. So, but more importantly, the two sides, because of the curvature, is actually extremely thin. It giving you a best ergonomic and feel. Minimalist and it's very no screws on the side of the phone. It's just a microphone and a connection, a USB-C connection port. So we think our design is very unique and very, very elegant. So there you have it. This is the Axon 7 Mini. We think, you know, it truly redefines the audio quality. That's why we call it redefining flagship audio experience. Audio is important, but obviously the camera and the design language of the phone is also key. We have made a very nice video about this device. I'd like to go to that video. This is it, Axon 7 Mini. And we're so excited to be able to offer this device in the European market and across different parts of the world. 
So the question that you have in your mind is probably how much? So since I made the comparison with these three films, I want to do a price comparison. So the Samsung S7 is selling for 700 euros. HTC 10 also when they launched 700 euros. Huawei P9 599 with similar configuration all at 32 gigabytes and 3 to 4 gigabytes of RAM. How much do you think our Exxon Mini will cost? 499. 399. 299. Free. Okay, no. I'm happy to tell you guys you're not going to pay anywhere near what these three guys, you know, $700, $600. But remember, this film give you the, the, the best audio experience of all these devices. And it only costs $299. Okay. And we know consumers are anxious to get, get this device. And we're making this available in store and online starting on September 7th. <laughs> and we're going to start out with Germany, Spain, Russia, Poland, Japan, Australia, India, Saudi Arabia, and then USA. And then roll out to more countries in the future. So with that, ZTE tagline is imagination and beyond. So we invite consumers to imagine with us to create devices that's beyond their imaginations. I think that's a very, very good example of what I just showed you with the Axon 7 Mini. And right here, right now, we want to offer our flagship device across different price points, right? After all, you know, there's consumers that can afford certain types of film, but we want to be able to offer consumers different types of price point, but with the same most important feature from the Axon 7 series, which is the sound quality and the design language of the film. So zero to excellence is what uh, Adam has mentioned. I think this is an excellent story that can perfectly summarize why we call ZTE Zero to Excellence. With that, thank you.